we're going to be using apples at Pied Piper School. This is a story about someone who may or may not have brought all the apple trees to America. It's called Johnny Appleseed, a poem by Reeve Lindenberg, paintings by Kathy Jacobson. Johnny Appleseed. In the early days of the American frontier, when most of this nation was still wild, unsettled land, there lived a man of great courage and gentleness who traveled through the wilderness planting apple trees. His name was John Chapman, though he may come to be known to generations of America as Johnny Appleseed. This is one story about his gift to our country. These apple trees were planted here a century ago, a hundred years of springtime bloom and a hundred years of snow. A hundred apple autumns with the geese flying by, a hundred years of applesauce and steaming apple pie. The man who planted apple trees once stood here on this land, a sack of seeds upon his back and a Bible in his hand. Young Hannah Goodwin saw him first, a stranger lean and lorn. His face was thin, his feet were bare, and his clothing were old and worn. The Goodwin family asked him in to dine and talk a while. America was lonely then. He traveled many a mile. He said he'd gladly stay to sup, but could not linger here. He had to go plant apple trees across the great frontier. He said it was a wild, wild land, a lonesome land and long. He said his apples sharp and sweet would make our country strong. The family listened while he spoke of forests green and grand, of prairies vast with waving grass, of rivers ribbed in sand. He spoke of families like their own, all moving bravely to the west with guns and tots and cooking pots to claim the wilderness. He said he'd bring them apple trees, our Lord's gift to the earth. He said the sun would warm his seeds and the rain would give them birth. He said that each good orchard grown would bear fruit as he planned and give the yearning pioneers a taste of our promised land. The Goodwin family wished him well and watched him leave alone. He carried not a gun nor a knife, no weapon did he own. For though he walked alone and lorn through dangerous lands and wild, he said he'd harm no creature born, for each was God's own child. Young Hannah heard the tales of him all through her growing years as he brought apples sharp and sweet to the other pioneers. She heard he walked through day and night, and though the winds moaned, she heard he walked in the snow and the rain that chilled him to the bone. And where he walked, she heard he gave his blessing, softly thrown, the scattered seeds among the weeds, the sweet fruit wisely grown. She heard he loved the forest land and all the creatures too, the wild deer, the hare, the wild wolf and bear, and every bird that flew. She heard the Native Americans trusted him. He knew the things that they knew, which plants could heal or make a meal, which streams ran clear and true. He walked all the trails and heard all the tales, his orchard spread and grew. And where he went, the deep rich scent of apple blossoms blew. Old Hannah Goodwin saw him last when many years had gone. He came in by the orchard gate, a quiet hour past dawn. Old Hannah knew that gentle smile, that face so long and thin. There was a Bible in his hand, and he spoke of all the places he'd been. He'd walked all through America, and all his seeds he'd sown. He planted apples sharp and sweet, and swiftly they'd grown. There were spicy apple cider now, out on the western plains. There was applesauce in Iowa, and apple pie in Maine, apples across the wide Missouri and down the Ohio, sharp and sweet across the land, they made our country grow. 
old Hannah Goodwin offered thanks for her own apple tree grown so tall. He said no thanks were owed to him. The Lord had made it all. To grow a country or a tree takes just a planter who will seed and tend until the end. The earth's best dreams can come true. He said farewell and traveled on and did not come again. But in this orchard, sharp and sweet, his apples still remain. Old Hannah Goodwin talked of him in apple time each year when the arch orchard came to harvest and the air was crisp and clear. She asked children to remember and to thank the Lord indeed for apples sharp and apples sweet and Johnny Apple Seed. What a great story about Johnny Appleseed.